In this video, we will be walking you through on how you can set up your MyJika ATV 329 or ATV 195. It's very, very easy. Make sure for the ATV 329 that the USB dongle that came with your remote control has been hooked up to the box. And for the ATV 195 dongle, you do not have any dongles to connect, so it is Bluetooth. You can just already press the OK button and you can go next. So using your remote, you just have to press the OK button one time and it will take you to the next page, which will talk about the language. And this, you can change it between English, French, or Spanish, or if you want to change it to another language, which has been listed here, except that for us in this video, we're going to use the English, press OK, and then already next has been highlighted with red color, just click on it. Now it will take you to a screen that says you need to zoom in or zoom out your screen. This way you can fix. If you do see any black lines all around it, you can fix it by just pressing the OK button. And now it will tell you if you want to zoom in or you want to zoom out. So this way you're going to get a perfect screen. Once that's done, press the back button, which looks like a little arrow on your remote and you will go back to the wizard. And now you can click next. In this part, you have to connect your box to the internet. So once you select your network configuration, in here you can set up your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Now with the ATV195, since it is just a dongle, you're going to only see Wi-Fi. There's no connectivity for the Ethernet and that's why you don't see it. But for the ATV329, you're going to get the Ethernet option too, since it is our actual box and you can connect it. For the meantime, we will click on Wi-Fi by default, your Wi-Fi should be already on. If it is not, just scroll down where you see Wi-Fi device, click on it and click on. In a couple of seconds, you should already see that on top it will say scanning. In here, you can set up your Wi-Fi. So in this case, we will select one of these and we will click OK. It will take you to a screen and it will ask you to enter your password. So in this case, you do have an actual keyboard on the screen and using your navigation key on your keyboard, you can maneuver and you can select the letters and you can enter your password. If you do require to enter a capital letter, it should be right here with a little up arrow and it should change everything to a capital letters. Now, if you want to change it back to small, just go back on it, click on it and it will change it back to a smaller letter. If you do want to change these keys to numbers, scroll down on a left bottom corner and select the question mark one two three and you can see that the numbers and the symbols are showing up in the bottom and this way you can change it to the numbers but again not to bore you guys we will enter our password the keyboard there is a little green arrow which is on the right side on the screen you need to scroll over and click enter now it says connecting to your Wi-Fi this part should take a couple of seconds and it should say connected it will tell you connect it successfully and it will go back. So now you can go back one time, one more time, and now you're back into your welcome screen. So now at the bottom, it says next, select it with the OK button. In this part, it will indicate to you that there is an app that they have on the box that called eShare. We will have a video on how you can use eShare. At the meantime, click finish and you are good to go. So now you can enjoy your MyJika box which is ATV329 or MyJika dongle, which is ATV195. Enjoy.